Hi everybody, welcome back to Deep Thoughts with Saya. And let's see, today, um, I think we're going to go in with another odd subject matter, I guess. And we're going to talk about aliens. Yes, aliens. I like aliens. I think aliens are cool. But now, what about aliens am I going to talk about? Hmm. Well, I guess I can tell you a story of when I saw a UFO. Yes, I did. I saw one. I was... Shit, how old was I? I have no idea how old I was. But I was probably like in elementary school when I saw it. Um, I was in our backyard with my dog, my little silky terrier, Ozzy. My sister, yes, named him after Ozzy Osbourne. This was a long time ago. Um, but we had a big back, you know, fenced-in backyard. It wasn't huge, but it was a good-sized backyard. And behind the yard, um, behind the fence, was like an orange field. Because, you know, we live in Florida. There's orange fields. And I was outside with him, playing on my swing set. See, I was young. And our um, laundry room was, you had to go out to the back porch and go around to the laundry room. So my mom was doing laundry at the time. So I was swinging on my swing set. And um, I saw her go out and put a load of laundry in. Okay. She went back inside the house. And I'm just there with my dog. And all of a sudden I heard something. And it was coming from the direction of the orange field. And my dog heard it too. My dog stopped and started staring at the orange field. So it wasn't just me. And I looked over. And in the sky was lights. Not just lights. I mean, like, not like, you know, that distant, far off in the sky, lights that people see and don't know what they are, but they're probably just airplanes or a balloon or some shit. Um, no, it was, you know, like, Landy was coming down right in the orange field. Um, and it was circular, um, not saucer-like because I couldn't see the top of it anyways because it was dark out. Um, but it had, you know, multicolored lights all around the bottom of it, um, kind of came to a, a cone shape at the bottom. And I saw it coming down in the orange field. Um, I didn't see it land, but I saw it coming down into there. Because the reason I didn't see it land is because the next thing I know... I'm still on my swing, but my dog is now at the top of the slide of the swing set, which he's a tiny little dog. He can't get up there all by himself, and he, well, he can't go up a ladder, but he was there, and I'm like, what, what the hell? And then I hear the door to the house, and my mom comes out, goes back in the laundry room, and takes the laundry out. So, I was a bit dumbfounded. Still am, I suppose. What the hell? I mean, I guess I lost time. Which, you know, that part took me a long time to uh, come to terms, not really come to terms with, because, you know, I don't feel traumatized or anything like that. But, you know, okay, I saw a UFO. Cool. But the whole losing time thing, I just never put a lot of thought into it. I just go, oh, yeah, okay, well, well, that was weird. But then, you know, as I got older and I started seeing all these, like, abduction stories and stuff, I'm like, huh, they lost time. They saw a UFO and lost time. They were abducted. So I'm like, was I abducted or something? I don't know. I don't have any recollection of it. But even with that, I'm still very skeptical about most other people's alien experiences or UFO experiences because a lot of it, a lot of those, you know, videos and photographs, yeah, those could be easily faked and they look like bullshit to me. And the stories of alien abductions, 
This is it. They sound rather far fetched to me. Um, I don't discount them because obviously something happened to me. Obviously, I lost time, but they all seem to say very similar things. Um, which, yeah, in normal cases, would probably say, well, hey, then, it must have actually happened if they all had the same experience. Okay, yes, yes, that's a, that's a valid thought, but majority of them are talking about being probed um, <laughs> up their ass and all these like completely freaky things and now they have night terrors about it and oh they're just so scared of these aliens and they're so like this is a horrible experience man they did horrible come on two things I mean from my own experience I think you know if that were the case, I was abducted and was probed by aliens, um, I, th I think that, yeah, there would be some kind of thing in my back of my head, you know, making me fearful. I would have some sort of residual, I don't know, phobia about it or something, but I don't. I have no thoughts in, of anything negative about it at all. My butt did not hurt when I went back into the house after my experience. And it seems very odd to me. I mean, I understand that, you know, okay, if they come to our planet, yeah, maybe they're, they're going to investigate us. Um, they'll probably do some testing on us to see what the hell we're about to see if how close we are to them. I mean, you've watched alien movies about when we get an alien in our hands. I mean, shit. We do shit in those movies. So that's, you know, a normal, valid thought that, yes, could very well be. But why would they probe our asses? I don't get it. And it wouldn't have to be some horrific thing. I mean, if they are technologically advanced enough to get here, I mean, we're nowhere near it. We can't go faster than the speed of light. We can't even comprehend the idea of how in the hell you would go faster than light. We're still kind of in the dark ages with the thought that you can't go faster than light. Yes, we're slowly coming out of that idea and slowly learning that, yeah, there are things in the universe that actually do go faster than the speed of light, but we're nowhere near there. So they would have to be really advanced, really, really advanced. So if they're that advanced, they could research us physically without having to probe our butts, without it having to be some terrible, horrible thing. It would probably be just like a scan. They probably have much, you know, much, much better, you know, x-rays and scanners and all that thing than we do. So why in the hell would they do that to you? It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, I have a lot of skepticism when it comes to other people's stories. I realize that, you know, yes, I've experienced it. So yes, I do believe it's true. But I also think there's a bunch of people out there who are full of shit. And when it comes to just aliens in general, come on, there's got to be aliens. Even if I take my experience out of the equation, let's pretend like that never happened, there has to be aliens out there. There has to be other living forms of life out there. There are so many galaxies in this universe with so many planets and so many suns, there has to be at least a few other ones that have sustained and created life and probably advanced levels of life, not just, <clears throat> excuse me, not just amoeba. Um, there has, there just has to be. 
the length of time that the universe has been around and the vast just billions if not trillions because I don't know the exact number of possibilities out there there has to be yes we have not found anything yet but there's so much out there that we can't see that we do not have the technology to see yet to be able to investigate yet that yeah I'm sorry we're not that special we really aren't I mean yes on one hand it's <clears throat> A miraculous thing that we happened but doesn't mean we're one of a kind so yes even taking out my experience from the equation I still do believe in aliens I really do but I'm very skeptical on other people's stories but anyways I guess that's it for this video Hey, though, if you had any experiences, why don't you comment? Tell me about your experience. I'd be willing to keep an open mind. You kept an open mind watching me and listening to me, so, hey, what the hell? And maybe, you know, hey, hey, maybe we were abducted at the same time and we actually met each other up there, and maybe we'll meet each other and just be like, oh, my God, I feel you're so... No, I'm just kidding. I'm just being stupid. All right, but anyways, yeah, comment if you want. Anyways. Bye.